Hey friends, welcome back to another YouTube channel. So in this very short video, I just want to go through what we can expect in the coming week and then um, the potential signal that I have for us, which is an um, Euro USD a buy signal. I'm going to break it down step by step in the next few minutes and also show you what to expect on pound USD, what has happened also. So before we get into any of that, let me just quickly check um, Forest Factory. Let's see the news events coming for the coming week. Okay. So we are on Forest Factory. Let me just adjust this so that it covers the whole week. Friday ends on the 1st. Oh, so we're already approaching a new month of March. Wow. Friday next to could be a new month. 2024, sorry, already gradually going. Okay, did I get this right? Oh, I guess I didn't set that right. Let me do that again. Okay, so when I'm this with the first day, yeah, you have to select 12 then. I only selected one. So you apply the settings and to bring it out for that period of time. Yeah. Okay, so Sunday, nothing. Monday, um, 10 a.m., we have a news on pound USD. Nothing much on Monday, generally, 4 p.m., is the news. Okay, so on Tuesdays, Tuesday starts early. So that means on Tuesday, you have to be ready early enough. 8 o'clock, we already have the news, so I'll be ready on that by that time. Then um, on Tuesday, 2.30, key news, so that's already also an opportunity to make money. 4 p.m., another key news, 3. So in the afternoon on Tuesday, money will be made. Then on Wednesday, the midnight, New Zealand, 2 p.m. in the ninth, they have official rates, and we're expecting it to remain the same. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, then in the morning. Okay, nothing really in the morning. Just um, for Euro and USD and Pound. Those are the ones that I'm really looking out for. It's an event, 28th of 1st. German import prices. I guess that will be coming out gradually. And there's Italian 10-year bond option. Okay, but in the afternoon by 2.30, momentum starts. So when is the afternoon? Morning to be made again. So Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, morning to be made, key times. Thursday, what are we looking at? When is the 28th? Let's just see when is the clearly. Yes. So Thursday, 8 o'clock, bow. Early in the morning, morning to be made. In fact, from like, 7.30, when is the morning? There's news, momentum in the market, so we'll make money on Thursday morning. Then in the afternoon, big news again. So Thursday, fantastic, we'll make money all day. Momentum in the market. Okay, or Friday. Friday, the morning starts early. Um, from 8.30, there's news. In fact, all this will also rally the market because this is on Australian USD. This is on JPY. Um, 2.30 days, um, the Chinese young. So several news on Friday. So watch out for Friday. You know, on Friday, I give out um, free um, signals in the afternoon. Too. So all day on Friday, we can expect to make money. So that's just for that. Um, let's get back to the charts. And now uh, let me show you the real signal from showing. So now... The three day strategy I use is like three days in the same direction, wait for a pullback, take it. So on pound USD right now, on Euro USD right now, we seem to have that kind of scenario, which is three days on buy. You see it buy, buy, buy. Friday, at um, this was Friday, Thursday, um, Wednesday, Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're in the same direction. So, as it stands right now, we can actually already place a buy because what happened that on a Thursday it rallied quite high, then pulled back below even the 
38.2, which would have been our first entry. The 50 even got close to the 61.8. So one can already take this trade as a buy even as the market opens. Especially if it opens around the same direction. Using this one as your stop loss, then um, this high as your take profit. Let's see how it looks in the lower time frame and see how it looks on four hours. Okay. Okay, so on four hours, it rallied, went up there, and actually kind of on four hours fell all the way to the 61.8, and then it's now ranging. So we can expect a move back all the way up, you know, while we, um, as it moves up, maybe we can take some partial profit here, take some partial profit here, then hold the rest by adjusting our take profit to our entry and trying to see that the many path gets to actual take profit level. So that's okay. Now, on pound USD, um, we actually, this on Friday was actually the fourth day of buy. So let me draw that and see what actually happened there. So clearly, of course, um, in the short run, uh, my bias on Euro USD and Pound USD is bullish, at least in the short run. So buy, buy, buy. So it is how it is. So let me go to a smaller time frame and try and see. Okay, so on the smaller time frame, this was what happened. Pushed all the way up, pushed back to about a six ton point level and has rallied up. It's rallying up again. So it's kind of tricky for the pound USD because it looks like it's already has already done most of the move, kind of. Looks like it has already done most of the move because this pullback would have been an opportunity to actually enter at the 50 level, which is a good entry. Then we'll follow it up, you know. So maybe we'll skip for the pound USD because like most of the move has already happened, you know, except maybe um, we see a move on Monday morning back to maybe 61.8. Then we can follow that and try to use our stop loss here and follow that up. So that's the forecast for the coming week. If this has given you some value, please like and subscribe and share with friends. So in short, to also join um, our group, the links to join the group should be in the description of this video. And have a blessed week ahead. See you next time.